Good morning everyone. In the last class we have started the topic editing the text and also we have discussed how to select the text by using keyboard and mouse. Today first we are going to discuss about deleting the text. In the keyboard we can use two keys for deleting the text. One is backspace key and second one is delete key. So first let's discuss about the backspace key. To delete a character, place the cursor to its right and press the backspace key once. Then we can delete the letters towards the left side of the cursor. Now here you can see whenever I am pressing on the backspace key, all the letters towards the left side of the cursor are deleting. So this is how we can use the backspace key for deleting the characters. And also we can use the delete key for deleting the letters. And we have to place the cursor to the character's left and press the delete key once. Then we can delete the characters towards the right side of the cursor. So we can use both delete key and backspace key for deleting the characters present on the screen. Now here we can see we can use either backspace key or delete key for deleting the characters. It is also possible to delete a particular word by using the backspace key and also delete key. Now let's check how to delete a word by using these two keys. Here you can see a word fruit. Suppose we need to delete the word fruit by using the backspace key. We have to place the cursor to the right of the word and press the control and backspace key together. Now you can see the word has deleted. We can also place the cursor to the left of a particular word and press on the control and delete button together. Then we can delete a word also. So we can use both backspace key and delete key along with the control button for deleting a particular word. And also it is possible to delete a block of text by using the same. Next we are going to discuss how to use undo and redo. The undo and redo options are available in the quick access toolbar. This area is known as quick access toolbar. And the first option is undo and the second option is redo. And the undo option is used to cancel the last action done in the document. Here you can see a word Goa and I am going to delete the word by using the backspace key. Now I have deleted the word and whenever I am pressing on the undo you can see it cancels the last action done in this document. So the word Goa is K. Suppose I am clicking on the redo button again. We can cancel the action of undo command. Now you can see I am going to press on the redo button now. And the word Goa is again deleted. Which means we have cancelled the action of undo command. This is how we can use the undo and redo command in the MS Word. And it is available in the quick access toolbar. Okay. Now let's move to the next topic, copying text. Copying means to create a duplicate copy of the selected text. So that first we have to select the text, then only we can apply copy. Then in the clipboard group, we can see an option copy. Whenever we are selecting the text, then only the copy option will be activated. Just press on the copy, then select the area where we have to paste the duplicate copy of the original data. After that click on the option paste. Now we can see the original data is here and also we have created a duplicate copy of the selected text. Okay and the shortcut key for the copy and paste are control plus C for copy and control plus V for paste. Our next topic is Moving text. Moving means to shift the selected text to another location. For that 
first we have to select the data which we have to move after we have to click on the option cut cut is available near to the copy option just click on the option cut after clicking on the cut we can see the original data will be moved from here okay so the original data is moved from here then we have to click on the area where we have to shift the selected text then click on the option paste now we can see the original data is shifted from one area to another so that this is the option cut for moving text from one location to another the shortcut key for cut is control plus x okay it is available in the same clipboard group and the last topic is spell check ms word also help us in identifying the spelling and grammatical mistakes in this document you can see some red and green underlines the spelling mistakes are highlighted with the red wavy lines and also the grammatical mistakes are highlighted with green wavy lines in the screen we can see some red and green wavy lines which means some grammatical and spelling mistakes are there so this can be identified and check by using the option called spell check which is available in the review tab so for getting the spell check we have to click on the review tab and here we have an option called spelling and grammar just click on the option spelling and grammar okay so a dialog box will open with a list of suggestion for each highlighted mistake so in the first box we can see the grammatical and spelling mistakes and in the second box we can see the suggestions so the auto correct option will automatically corrects all the spelling at the time of typing okay so here we can see the grammatical mistakes with green color and spelling mistake with red color all the words available in the computer dictionary will be shown in the suggestion list so if we want to change the word we can click on the option change otherwise we can click on the option ignore okay so this is how we can identify the grammatical mistake and also spelling mistake so each time we can click either on ignore option or we can click for the change option for changing the words when ms word finishes checking the entire document it displays a message as shown so we have to click on okay when you have completed the spelling check so after clicking on the okay we will complete all the grammatical and spelling mistakes in our document so this is how we can change the spelling mistake and grammatical mistake by using the option spelling and grammar available in the review tab and also we have discussed how to copy and move text from one area to another don't forget that the spelling and grammar option is available in the review tab okay